Welcome to Shabbat with a Shmir here at Barney Greengrass. I'm Meredith Berkman, AKA Shabbat Mom, and I'm here talking Torah with my good friend and noted scholar, Rabbi Adam Mintz. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Meredith. This week we read Akev, and Akev contains the second chapter of the Shema that's recited every day. If you listen to God, good things will happen. If you don't listen to God, bad things will happen. The idea of reward and punishment. It's a hard idea. You know, there have been, there've been certain synagogues over the centuries that actually have skipped this paragraph of the Shema because they don't like the idea of taking responsibility. Over what do you centuries? think of that? You mean that's well, not the, just a modern progressive idea? In the idea? last 200 years. Even Orthodox synagogues? No, not Orthodox synagogues, but the Reformed synagogues in Germany, some of them didn't like these chapters. I'm surprised that it's that long ago. I mean, especially as Shabbat mom, as a mother of four, as a parent, as are you, this notion of accepting responsibility for um, infractions, for breaking the rules. I mean, you know, that that's, I mean, we could talk about that for hours um, in any context, right? Which is about, um, especially, you know, and, and in some ways, you know, one of the profound issues in modern, non-Orthodox, let's say, modern Jewish life is about what are the boundaries of the tent? You know, do, do rabbis perform intermarriage or not? Are there consequences or actions that are, um, that go against the rules as set down in the Bible or in any society? So, you know, having, um, there's, you know, this concept of right and wrong and here in the most profound in the biblical context, follow the words of God, or not. Now, I can't say that I strictly, certainly cannot say I strictly follow the words of God. Does that mean that I've taught my children that we, we will be punished, we will live terrible lives? No. Do I want to teach my children based on what we're talking about, that there are things one does and things one doesn't? Look at the Ten Commandments. There are rules that are broken in societies and rules that aren't. I think it's very important that lesson. There are rules. There's right. There's wrong. And there have to be consequences for actions. So while I am in fact breaking the rules based on this parsha, and therefore, uh, God forbid, would deserve to be punished for not strictly following, I choose to look into it for strength and guidance rather than um, for fear. I think it's really powerful. I mean, that idea of responsibility and fear, I think, is important. Obviously, the reason that some people omit this paragraph is because things aren't always fair. And we know that we always, don't always understand why bad things happen to good people. It's a famous book. But by it, doesn't, it doesn't mean that we don't have to take responsibility. We, we understand that we it, you accept the fact that bad things happen to good people, and we can understand that, but we still have to be willing to take responsibility. Well, that's the whole story of Moshe, right? That's why Moshe's not going into the land. That's the message of the whole book. Yeah, I think so. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.